gave you in class. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm briefly going to show you a few slides from the PowerPoint to cover some uh, definitions, and then we're going to come back to this sheet and work the problems out. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is, uh, is make a definition. So scope is the length of the road put out to the water depth. Okay, and the road is defined as all the stuff between the anchor and the boat. So it's the chain or fiber, okay, whatever kind of road you have. Typically for big ships it's going to be chain. For small boats it's going to be a little bit of chain and then it'll be some kind of fiber rope, okay? But um, so road, the ratio of the, the amount of road out to the water depth. Okay, and we express it as a ratio. It's typically five to one, seven to one, something like that. Um, and uh, you might need more scope or less scope depending on the conditions. Typically, you're gonna put out, in, under typical conditions, somewhere between five to one to seven to one, all right? But uh, you know, if you were in really bad uh, conditions where, you know, where holding wasn't very good, you could be eight to one, 10 to one. If you were gonna anchor for a short period of time, you might, uh, uh, in, in, with good holding in mild conditions, you might anchor only a, a three to one, okay? So, but anyway, so it's the ratio of the water depth, okay? But it's the ratio, excuse me, the ratio of the length of the road to the water depth, and the road always goes first, and it'll be the bigger number. So here's just a little picture. There's your anchor, and the road is all this stuff, okay? Chain and fiber for a small boat, and uh, you know, for a big boat, it'd be all chain. More examples of that. Okay, now, sometimes it can be a little tricky to figure out what the water depth is. You might come in and anchor up at low tide, but you've got to set the, and you could have quite a tide exchange. You know, some places you could have, you know, 10, 15, even 20, 20 more than 20 feet of a tide exchange uh, between low and high tide. So that's something you wanna factor in. You may wanna set your road for the highest tide you're going to encounter. So uh, uh, that, I'm gonna show you how to do one of those problems as well. Um, but uh, here, this is, um, this is a, a picture of a chart and all these uh, numbers you see here are at what's called the datum, okay? Um, uh, and, uh, uh, so when the, when the water level is at datum, at this spot there would be 80 feet of water. Well, it turns out though that uh, that datum uh, is set for mean lower low water. And you're going to learn more about this in TNAV, TNAV 1, but suffice it to say that uh, it's a baseline for heights of water. Well, uh, if you're, uh, but you will oftentimes have more or less water than 80 feet depending on the height of the tide. Here's another little picture of you. Uh, this is the chart datum. It's set for mean lower low water. We're not going to test you on that idea until TNAV, but being able to do some calculations with it, we will be testing you on. Um, so this is the, 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 the water level on the chart would be for this level. Now, you could be what's called a plus two. You, could, you will then have the height of the tide. The height of the tide could actually be higher than or lower than the datum, depending on where we are in the tide cycle. Okay. So if you have a plus two tide in this situation, at that spot it would be 80 plus two, okay? Because the tide would be maybe somewhere around here. But if we were at a minus two tide, it'd be 80 minus two and you'd have 78 feet, okay? So you're gonna need to figure that out, but we'll show you that uh, in um, uh, this uh, little video too, okay? So now we're gonna move to the problems. Now we're gonna do uh, these problems here. So the first question is, if you're anchored in 30 feet of water with a scope of five to one, how much chain would you have out? So we're uh, trying to figure this out. Now, typically when we're thinking about chain, I mean, it can be in feet, but a lot of times it would be in fathoms or shots, okay? So uh, let me just tell you that uh, one, uh, one fathom equals six feet, okay? One fathom equals six feet. And one shot equals 90 feet. That is 15 fathoms, okay? So one shot is either 90 feet or 15 fathoms. And I'm just gonna leave that uh, stuff up there um, and uh, you know we can refer to that, okay? You're, and those are things you're gonna probably wanna remember, okay? 
Uh, so if you were anchored in 30 feet of water with a scope of five to one, how much chain is out? Okay, well, um, essentially here, we have 30 feet of water, but uh, using the ratio here, remember if we're, talking, if we're talking five to one, all right, so here's five to one, the five is the road out, and the one is the water depth. Okay, so our ratio is telling us that we have five times the amount of road out than the water is. And the water is 30 feet, so it's five times 30. Okay, so it's 30 times five, that's 150 feet. Okay, we've got 150 feet of road out. Now remember, that road could be straight, straight up chain, or it could be um, a little bit of chain and then some fiber if you were a small boat. Okay, so we got 150 feet of chain out. Okay, now typically uh, we might want to convert that to fathoms, okay, uh, or even shots. So let's do that. I'm going to do both of those. So I have 150 feet, okay, and I'm going to have to multiply that by a conversion factor if I want to put it to fathoms. So one fathom is six feet. So times uh, one fathom for every six feet, feet go away, and it becomes 150 divided by six, and that will be 25 fathoms. Okay, that's if we put it into fathoms. If I wanted to put that into shots, it'd be 150 feet times uh, one shot for every 90 feet. You can see the feet cancel out again. And if I did that, uh, you did the math there, that would be 1.7 shots, okay? Um, so anyway, typically 1.7 shots, we wouldn't call that, you just say uh, put two shots, okay? We typically don't. Uh, split the shots up too much. You might say one, one and a half shots, two shots, but you know, 1.7, 1.8, you just say two shots, okay? All right, cool. So let's do the second problem. So we're anchoring in 40 feet of water and we want, okay, so, we, so in this situation, we were already anchored. In this situation, we're going to anchor and we want to figure out how much chain to put out, okay? So maybe we looked at the chart and we saw, oh, you know, the, when at high tide, we think we're going to be about 40 feet of water. So uh, what should we do in that situation? So in this case, we want to be six to one. Well, if 40 feet, okay, is the depth of the water, we're going to have to multiply that times six to get how much chain we should put out. So that's going to be 40 feet times six, all right? And that works out to 240 feet. Okay, but typically we'll want to convert that into either, uh, you know, fathoms or shots. Okay, uh, so if I want to convert that to fathoms, that's going to be 240 feet times one fathom for every six feet. Okay, and the feet go away. And that turns out to be 40 fathoms. Okay, if I wanted to convert it to shots, I do the same thing, except I use a different conversion factor times one shot okay for every 90 feet and that turns out to be uh, 2.7 shots and typically if it's 2.7 i would just say three shots okay um, we'll talk more about shot marks uh, in the uh, lecture all right uh, but there will be special markings on the chain every 90 feet okay uh, red marks white marks and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk about that okay uh, right now, we're just concentrating on the calculations. Okay, in this problem, uh, we have, uh, we're in 60 feet of water with four shots out, and they want to know what the scope is. Well, uh, right off the bat, we got a little issue here because our depth is in the units of feet, whereas our um, road out is in the units of shots. So uh, we're going to have to do a little conversion. We either got to convert both into shots or both into feet. So I think uh, um, because uh, 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 shots are pretty easy to convert to feet, we know it's 90 each, so I'm going to do that first. So step one is going to be four shots to feet. It's going to be uh, 90 feet per shot, okay? Shots disappear because they cancel out. Four times 90 is 9, 18, 27, 36. That's 360 feet, okay? So we've got 360 feet out, okay, uh, of chain. Now, what we want to know is what is our scope? Well, scope, okay, 
is really the amount of uh, road out divided by the depth. Okay, that's what that uh, that formula uh, um, that ratio is expresses. Okay, scope is uh, the road to the depth. All right. So anyway, in this case, we are trying to figure out uh, that. So we have 360 feet of road out, and we've got 60 feet of water. So uh, anyway, so that is six to one. Okay, that's how you do that one. Okay, so in this problem, um, we uh, uh, it's a little bit more complicated because now we have to start dealing with the chart. So it says the chart datum is 55 feet, uh, and then it says the tidal range is 15 feet. Uh, what I want to do is I actually want to change this from tidal range to say the height of the tide is... 15 feet. Okay, I'm just going to change that here uh, on the sheet. So what that's saying is that the height of the tide is 15 feet above the datum. Okay, uh, so if the chart datum is 55 feet and the height of tide is is plus 15, how many shots do I need to deploy to have an 8 to 1 scope at high tide? Okay, so uh, that means that my uh, my total water column is going to be, that um, will be equal to the datum plus the height of tide. And that is 55 plus 15. So that is 70 feet. So at high tide, I'd expect the water column to be 70 feet. And since uh, I may be anchored for many, many hours, I would expect to have to ride through a, a, a high tide. And uh, so I have to calculate that in for my scope. Okay, so. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do here is uh, I want to figure out how much road I should put out. Okay, um, so uh, that was sort of step one. Step two, how much road? Okay, well, I want to be eight to one. So if I'm figuring it to be 70 feet, I'm going to do 70 feet times eight, and that's going to give me 560 feet of road. Okay. Now, I want to convert my road into both shots and fathoms, okay, now, uh, so we, all right, I'm going to show you how to do that. Typically, you would only do one or the other, uh, but, you know, a lot of times with the anchor, it's going to be in shots, but I'm going to do both, because you could probably use the practice. Okay, we'll put in the shots first. So, 560 feet times one shot for every 90 feet, and the feet go away, and that gives us 6.2 shots. Okay, so if I was given the command, I might say let out six and a half shots or so, or a little more than six shots. Okay, if I wanted to put that into fathoms, well, that's 560 feet times one fathom for every six feet, uh, and the feet go away again, and that gives us 93 fathoms. Okay, you're much more likely to give the command to put, the, put out the road in shots than fathoms, particularly at that length. Okay, now the last question, all right. So, by the way, a little picture for this one. Here was the, uh, uh, the, the datum, and we had uh, 55 feet at the datum, but the height of the tide, okay, for the high tide was plus 15. So that's where we got that uh, 70 from, okay? So now let's do this one. The depth of the water is 40 feet at the time of the mid-tide, okay? so. Okay, we're somewhere, we're in the middle of the tide. Uh, today we have a 10 foot range, okay? So 10 foot range means it's 10 feet from the low tide to the high tide, okay? So here is like, here's low tide, and here's high tide, okay? Let me, let me make that a little bit neater. High tide. And what they're saying is the difference between low tide and high tide is 10 feet. Well, somewhere in here is also the datum. Okay, the datum is probably going to be somewhere between the two of them, all right? Um, and although it doesn't have to be, that's a little confusing. Let's not worry about that right now, okay? Um, we'll, uh, we'll teach you more about the, the, all that stuff in TNAV too, all right? But uh, so uh, you have four shots of chain out. What will be the scope at high tide? 
All right, so what it boils down to is that right now we're at mid-tide. So we're halfway between those two. And that means we're at, uh, so here's the bottom. So that is 40 feet, okay? Right now we're at mid-tide. And since this is 10 feet between the two, that means that there's plus five here, okay? All right, so uh, from here to there is plus five, and from there to there is plus five, that makes the 10, okay? So really, since we're at mid-tide, uh, we're halfway through the tide, and this is a 10-foot tide, it's gonna be 40 plus five will be the height of the water at high tide. So 40 plus five, 45 feet is what we're gonna expect to be at high tide. Okay, so now let's figure out uh, uh, what, uh, what the scope is gonna be. So my, my, I have four shots out, so my road is four shots, okay? Which, you know, if I multiply that by 90, 9, 18, so 9, 18, 27, 36, okay? That's uh, 360 feet, okay? Or 360 feet, and my depth is 45 feet, okay? So, now, I gotta figure out my scope. Well, my scope is gonna be equal to, it's gonna be my road divided by my depth, and that is 360 divided by 45, and when I do that, I get uh, uh, eight to one. That's my scope, okay? So that's how you do those problems.